Hello guys again and welcome back to another review and testing and today we've got this MI Robot Vacuum Mop Essential It is all-in-one cleaner for sweeping, vacuuming and mopping Very affordable uh, robot vacuum, it costs no more than 150 euros It depends the store Together we're gonna find out uh, how we can work with that, install it to our network and I will perform three tests I will only vacuum without the carpet, vacuum at the carpet and of course vacuum mapping together let's see some of the key specs we've got a 2200PA powerful suction multiple cleaning modes auto recharging and task resuming full protection and anti-collision 8.3 cm ultra slim design and 1.7 cm high obstacles crossing app remote control and real-time monitor you can control this vacuum from your smartphone, download the Xiaomi MI Home, install it to your Android or iOS device and that's how you will have all the control at your palm of your hand. Now inside we've got of course some accessories, we've got the charging dock, docking ear sensor at the front, charging contact blades here, they come in contact with this vacuum robo. Of course we've got and the adapter, it is 20 volt, 1.2 amp, 24 watt. We've got a cleaning brass, it comes with a knife at the front, you can cut this brass and make them straight. At the device of course we've got the power on off button, press 3 seconds and it will turn on and off. Turning on. Around we've got the status indicator. And it gives you some information when it's working, when it's charging, when it's at low battery and when it's fully charged it or cleaning. We've got the home button, press it and at any time the vacuum mop, it goes back to the charging dock. And for the Wi-Fi, press and hold the two buttons. Wi-Fi connection has been reset. Awaiting network connection. Great. Now let's turn it off again. Turning off. At the front we've got the collision sensor, the ear sensor around, that's how it can work, see all the objects and knows where to go and clean. Moving from the other side, from the back, by pressing these two plastics, release this mop pad holder with a mop pad, strap, take this out, remove it, clean it into your washing machine, you can buy more and have two or three, replace them and do your job. And it is very easy to install, slide it inside here, and that was all. And again, you can install it back, slide, press and it locks. At the front we've got and the air outlet, by opening this lid, We've got the Wi-Fi network connection, the reset button, the two-in-one compartment with the water tank, press this white and remove, and we can see at the front we've got the filter, HEPA filter, remove that, you can wash it, clean it, another small filter, mess inside, third protection, rubber around, no dust will go outside, same here, rubber around, a plastic inside. To remove the dust compartment from the water tank, just press here and remove it. So easy. Another rubber around, you can see in here. Inside we've got this plastic. And of course we've got the water tank. The water outlet goes at the unit here. You can fill up with water from this hole, seal it very well again, and very easy, you can install it back, press locks, install all the filters after you clean them very well, and very easy, press and it locks. Close the lid, and now let's see at the base, and again we can see this mop pad holder, you can remove it. Inside we've got the battery, it is 2500 mAh battery. Rated power is 25 watt, 
Charging time is 4 to 5 hours, 14.4 rated voltage and it can work 90 minutes on a standard mode. And to connect it to your uh, network, you need a 2.4 GHz network. Here we've got the four cliff sensors around. We've got the side brass, you can remove, replace them. You can cut it with this knife and make them straight. We've got the main driver wheels. The charging contact blades. They come in contact with the base and they start charging. And here we've got the brass cover, press these two orange, remove the cover. Inside we've got the brass, you can take it out, wash it, this orange is a rubber, wash the brass very well and easy to install. Take the cover again, press and locks and install again of course and the mop pad holder and ready to work. Now take the base, connect the power cord inside, left or right, depends how you want. Connect it at the main power, turn on the device, press and hold for 3 seconds. Turning on. Xiaomi and my home app, add the device. MI Robo Vacuum Mop Essential, found it. Connect to your network, choose the 2.4 GHz Wi Fi network, agree, enter your password, next. Connected to network successfully. Done. Living room. You can rename the device, next. Get started. Agree. And we've got the start and the dock. Dock. Charging. It is recommended to remove and clean the mop pad holder and the two in one dust compartment with water tank. Okay, great. I will do that after the test. Now, first, I will perform the test without the carpet, only vacuum. Second test, it is at the carpet, that's how we're going to find out the suction power. And the third test will be vacuum and mapping simultaneously. And every time we remove the dust and water compartment, two in one dust compartment with water tank has been removed. We've got a voice assistant, and you can see it's flashing orange. And again, two in one dust compartment with water tank has been installed. Great. Now let's move on at the first test without the carpet at the floor and no mopping, only for the dust. That's why we need to remove this mop pad mop holder. Pad holder has been and you can see you've gotten the voice assistant. This I will use it on my third test, to my last test. I will do a simultaneously dust collection and mopping. Now at the floor we've got some stuff. Things from our everyday life, lentils, oats, cornflakes, rice, and chocolate. You can see at my smartphone is mapping all the area. And our suction settings, it is in standard mode. Let's go to medium. And on turbo mode. Let's leave it on medium.
Here we can see we've got the area, it is 1.31 square meter. The direction, it is 2 minutes, is working. And we've got 99% of the battery. Well, let's leave the guy to do his job. <laughs> well dear, definitely cleaning was not ended. As you can see we've got many things at the floor. Charging. Please clean the two in one desk compartment with water tank in time. Yes dear, but you didn't clean everything very well. That's why right, let's do it again. Clean up all the Let's put it on turbo mode. And you can see again the mapping that is doing. And the little green icon, it is the charging dock station. Great Robo, second time was a better job compared with the first time. Charging, please clean the two in one desk compartment with water tank in time. Now let's see what we have inside. Two in one desk compartment with water tank has been removed. Great. And there we are. We've got enough space.
or more that's nice but it's done the job has cleaned it very well at the second time now let's try at the carpet two and one duct compartment with water tank has been installed clean up all the carpet on a turbo mode Changing to silent, it is very quiet and it goes slowly. Standard, medium, and turbo. And at all the time we can see the area has been covered and how long is working and the battery percentage. We can see the area was covered is 6 square meters, working time duration is 7 minutes and 85% the battery. Automatically it was stopped cleaning at 3 minutes but it didn't clean very well the carpet and again I have started the process and was working about 4 minutes that means total working time was 7 minutes. But has done a very good job, I don't see anything at the carpet the carpet is cleaned very well. Now let's move on the test with uh, mopping and dust collection simultaneously. Now for mopping, take out the container, fill up with water here. One dust compartment with water, tank. water it is inside as you can see. And then we need to install the mop pad holder and it locks. And now here we are at the third test and at the floor we've got some stains from coffee with the sugar, soft drinks, juice, milk, cornflakes, <laughs> bread and many others. But before starting the test let's check out the and the up. Settings you can schedule the clean up, add schedule, repeat daily. I repeat custom, choose the days of the week, hour, minutes, you can schedule. We've got the vacuum spot, 
here clean the one meter radius area around the vacuum mop we will try that later we've got a disable voice and don't resume clean up enable disable choose the time you want voice settings disable and enable you can adjust the volume you can choose the the language we've got many languages consumable statistics brass remaining service side brass remaining service and filter locate the vacuum mop okay vacuum along the edges when enable the vacuum mop will be clean up along the edges the next time okay enable disable stop map upload enable disable device name you can choose the device name manage location share the device to other members of your family automation you can create automation from the app firmware update help feedback additional settings and you can choose the device to your favorite nice i like that when a device it has uh, many options to choose and at the main screen you can see from silence to turbo and the water level and now after that let's uh, start the test and you can see you can choose the water level medium low high and we can see the graphics at my smartphone. You can choose on high water. And I can see the water on the floor is mopping. No, you need to clean more. We've got many stains on the floor. Let's start again. Oh, definitely a good job. As you can see, guys, no stains on the floor. 
has done a very good job cleaning everything very well. <laughs> this stain was very hard. Now let's check and the vacuum spot start. Go to the settings, vacuum spot. Now I am controlling the vacuum. And that's how I can clean a stain that was missing from the vacuum. And dock. Well guys, that was all about this MI Robot Vacuum Mop Essential. It is a very affordable vacuum. It costs about 120 to 150 euros. It depends the store where you're gonna find out. You have seen what it can do at the test. The stain was very hard at the floor. Definitely it is a value of money vacuum for the things that it can do. Vacuum and mopping or vacuum. It is your choice. At the floor, with or without a carpet. Well guys, thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It takes only one second to press the subscribe button. Share this video, like or dislike my videos, your choice. And hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.